guys, what's going on? Uncle Beans here, and welcome back to the last campfire. Oh, uh, we're coming close to the end now. Uh, what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to go straight to the next campfire. Straight to the next one, which is in a cave somewhere. And then, oh, we're coming close to the end. Oh, it's going to be sad. It's quite sad. The painting was the same as Embo had seen before. Two Sacred embers journey. shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. There's only one there, though. <laughs> Hello, forlorn. Forlorn the friend. Forlorn was cold to the touch, different to the others. That doesn't sound good. The stranger spoke. Thank you for coming to help. I can't let another in right now. Ember shared a moment with the forlorn. And hoped they would find what they needed. Yeah, it is a bit like that. Sometimes you just need you need to focus on yourself, and you can't worry about other people. You know, one little ember. How do I get down that? This way. I need to go the long way around, do I? I need a frog. For some reason. Boing. We're coming close to the end, guys. There's only going to be like a couple episodes left. Unfortunately. The real sad. It's going to be real sad. It's going to be okay. Let's play at the feet of fallen statues. Simple, splashy, happy little hoppers. They seem hoppers. content in the home they've made. Happy little hoppers. Let's go talk to these birds then. Well now, well now, we've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, Have you now? Fun, over the wall they goes. <laughs> Hope you had a good excuse for running off, Scab. Yeah, I do. Emperor's heart sank. Wow, they're assholes. Make an excuse. If they find out what you're doing, then they'll punch you. Ember, Don't try to that. think of an excuse. Save your made-up stories for the Forest King. Mm. Oh yes, yes. Tell the lies to the king. Oh no. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have lied. <laughs> sure, I shouldn't have lied. I said some deja vu. Run to the king, little ember. The forest throne. Mr. King. Ember felt nervous standing before the king again. God, he's so fucking loud. Calm down. Frustrated, the forest king said. Poor tired Ember. Where did you go? Uh, I went to go get some milk. You must rest now. But well, I still need my milk. <laughs> you give false hope. Ow. Try How dare you? Fail and hurt. This is all there is. Ember could feel the forest king right through them. Oh. This end, there are no more. Why not stop? Let go of this. She can't let you go. You must stay. No more foolish hope. Last chance. Take key now. Make sure gates are locked. Let no more in. Let no more out. You need to give hope. Ember took the key. What choice did they have? Even if it's false hope. As long as they believe. If someone could believe in something. Even if it's not real. They, that belief can keep them going. Yeah, this really is your last chance. 
Don't betray the Forest King again. I'll slap up the pair of you in a minute. Ash up. Hello, boys. How you doing? The Ember looked proud. I've nearly earned my full feathers. How are you getting on? The Ember hesitated. Oh, really well. Me too. <laughs> I can't wait until everyone has to listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> the birds. They've almost earned the bird. That's a big pot. The traveler looked lost. Have you been searching for home too? No. It's so long. Something feels wrong out there. It's a I'm bit not weird, sure if it's it? right here either. I mean, how do you know what right and wrong is until you've seen it? The stranger spoke earnestly. The forest king is right, you know. I've seen those now? embers turned forlorn. It's a shame they wouldn't listen. Oh, I fucking know what that's like. When people just don't fucking listen to you. The stranger inhaled deeply. The cook taught me this recipe. Don't tell anyone. But the secret ingredient is pork. You're, you're eating the pigs? Are you eating the fucking pigs over at the... Over in the marsh, you bastard. Um... Yeah, no, it's not this way. I <laughs> don't know why I came this way. The stranger glanced around, speaking in hushed tones. Shh, be quiet. Did managed to slip down to the marsh? Yeah. I think I'll look for the campfire there, too. Good. Fuck Good off. Good luck to you, stranger. Good luck to you, too. Um, right. We need to get to this cave area. Uh, through the here. The crossroads gate was locked. Ember what placed it? the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Uh, which way? This way? This way. Come on, Ember, move. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. There you go. No one, no one in, no one out. That's a windy fucking staircase. Eagerly, Ember left the birds behind, glad to be free. Yeah. You can't get over there. Hello, hello, chum. The traveller whispered. Used to be a river all round here. Watched the birds build the dam night and day. Took them forever. They had no clue what they were doing. The birds are idiots. It was <laughs> well, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. These fucking birds are twats. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. The guy I'm yelling, I'm dying. It was an abandoned boat, sadly stranded in the mud. Pick it up. It's Mr. Krabs. Spongy boy, me Bob. Ember was at the entrance to a dark cave. The smell of stale water oozed out. Stale like it had water. Once been flooded, but now was bone dry. Stale water. That sounds really disgusting. But let's go, little Ember. Off we run the dam. Mr. Krabs! Oh. Mr. Krabs doesn't like me. Alright, so we need to open up this dam some way. In the shape of a piggy, in the shape of a pig boy. It was a Gordian knot, impossible to untie. Ember needed something sharp to cut it. Like a, uh, 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 what's sharp? I don't know. The forlorn was not the same as the others. Like a toothpick. At Ember's approach. The stranger spoke. I don't want your help. I'm not ready to let go of how I'm feeling. With regret, Ember moved on. I guess that's fair. That's a fair reason to, to not want help. Um, 
I need good old iron claw over here. Excitedly, the stranger said, Look, it's Iron Claw. I, I didn't remember that his name was Iron Claw. I genuinely didn't remember that his name was Iron Claw. I just made a joke because I know he had a fake claw. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, Friend, I'm hilarious. This crab is the terror of the marsh. Together we can trap him. I've got a plan. Been waiting for someone to help. I'm here. I'll help. You help me, and I'll help you. Try lowering the crab over here with the chum in that bucket. The chum bucket? It's funny. I'm using the chum bucket to lure over Mr. Krabs. And his big, meaty claws. No, he don't got me big, meaty claws, does he? Um... What's this? Why did I do that? Luckily we have infinite chum. Uh, there. Yeah. That way. That way. There we go. Done. Boing. Goodbye, Mr. Iron Claw. <laughs> Crab is all yours. Didn't plan any further than this. Look at that claw, though, friend. Could do some real damage. Can I take it to the Forest King and just fucking stab him with it? Ember found the Wanderer's Diary. The Wanderer's Diary? The Earth no. resists my wishes. The lanthorn will not answer when I blow. I must be rid of it. I hide the wretched instrument deep in a riddle. Ooh. Ooh. What on earth could that mean? Right, come here, you, you fuck. Come, Iron Claw. Mr. Krabs. Snip, snip. Sink. Oh god, Iron Claw died. Iron Claw's actually dead now. Um. Oh yeah, that is back that way. I guess we'll go this way quickly. Ah yes, 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 yes. I know. I have a, I have a lanthorn, don't I? I have a lanthorn. I do something like this. <laughs> Ember uncovered a journal entry. I dock my boat at the final harbour. Soft drips drip dripping over slick black rock. Something hisses from the dark. Oh no. Fucking grab it with that. Oh no. And the Hello, pig boy. The pigs from the marsh. Someone had tightly sealed the dam. Ember wondered what secrets it might spill. Um, presumably a lot of water. I mean, I'm no expert, so... Don't, you know, don't... How do I... Ah, there you go, I guess. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. The snake is drawn to the light. They are not so fearsome after all. I think they mean no harm. Delay. How can you be so certain? Fool. That just takes us down. Let's not go that way. Ah, this puzzle. I remember this puzzle. Or a puzzle similar to this. The stranger pondered. I just wanted to fix things. <laughs> to help get the water flowing again. But I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I don't... Yeah, no, I don't blame you for that. Um... Yeah, so we need to pump the bellows, don't we? The bellows breathe yeah. life into the 
fire beneath the boiler. But it would take more air to fully stoke the fire. I had a sneeze coming and then it didn't stop. Right. So now we need to connect these up using pipes. So, you know, this, obviously. There. And we do that. Down. And we need it that way. And this one does this. Yeah, like that. Let me just need to turn you again. Like that. I can't believe you did it. Nah, it was bad uh, piss, mate. I hope you don't get in trouble for this. From who? From the Forest King? Mate, we've got fire! What a satisfying rush the damn water's first. I don't like how it's so green. That doesn't look like good water. It's green water. Ember really did hope they wouldn't be in trouble. Mm. And the Forest King's only a bird. He's a big one as well, he can't move that fast. We can run faster than he is. Not through cobwebs apparently. Ember wondered if now they could reach the entrance of the cave. Probably. Presumably. Something stuck in my teeth. The fuck was I eating? Freed from the mud, the boards looked inviting. It looked inviting, did it? That sounds... Not here. Right. Um... There's a... It says that there's a wondrous journal in here somewhere, so before we go through the cave, we're gonna look around for the journal. The boat was a perfect there it is. for Ember. It felt like they were on the right path at last. Ember found a scrap of journal. Yeah, well, I am on the right path. In the dark, I slip and stumble, land hard upon my knee. Without thinking, I reach for an absent hand. That's sad. Uh, expect someone to be there, but no one is. Right, this way. Boing, boing, boing. Come on, let's just go nuts. <laughs> let's go, Ember. Let's get to the last campfire. The passageway was dark and eerily silent. Yeah. Ember wondered why the dam had been blocked. Because the birds and the forest king are assholes. Boom. Boom. Um this way. So we're not at the last campfire yet, we're not at the cave yet. I mean, we're in a cave, but we're not at the cave campfire yet. I don't remember... I don't remember a lot. <laughs> I don't remember a lot. That shouldn't come as a surprise to people. And then... That shines into that ball. Then we need to turn that into the mouth of the snake. Again. As the gate opened, a thought occurred. What was the gate keeping locked away? The final campfire. Well, second to last campfire. Because the last campfire is the last la the last one at the end of the game. <laughs> oh right, hang on, hang on. Before I do that, before I before I keep going, I'm gonna do that quickly. Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. What has he got to say now? Alone, I searched. I swallowed hesitation. And at last, the doorway opened. But beyond, there was... nothing. I did not understand. 
don't understand what that means, honestly. <laughs> Uh, now I've got to go back around to fucking change its direction again, god damn. Now we can go through the gate. And then that should be the cave campfire. Kind of, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't quite, like I said, I don't quite remember. There's a lot in this game I don't remember, because I'm a twat. I'm an idiot. There it is. Embo had found campfire. another unlit campfire at the heart of the cave. Fucking climb the stairs. Anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna leave this this episode here. We're at the last campfire in the caves. Oh, the last campfire in the caves. This is it. Ugh. This is gonna be it, guys. <sighs> so next episode, we're gonna do the cave, obviously. We're gonna finish the caves. Uh, campfire. And then the episode after that should be the last one. It's gonna be quite unfortunate it's gonna be quite sad because this is a great fucking game fucking love this game but anyway so i'm gonna leave this episode here um thank you guys so much for watching this episode if you liked it you guys know what to do and guys uncle beans here saying goodbye i love you guys till next time bye bye